Howdy, I'm Jason Lewis, and I'm so stoked on this next upgrade. I'm about to show you on the Jeep that I decided to get out the snapper. Watch this. Go ahead, ready? Watch this. Dang it, man, I just had this thing calibrated. Hey, yo, there it is. All right, so this is the B&M transfer case extended handle shifter with this cool billet aluminum base. Now, this thing is pretty rad. Let me just send you on over to the Blue Blanket product showcase feature to tell you about it, and then we'll install it. This is the B&M extended transfer case shift handle. Not much to say here, it's a shift handle, but it is pretty awesome. This is a great addition to manual or automatic transmission Jeep JKs. The longer handle makes it easier to reach and change transfer case settings. Plus, it has retro awesome good looks. Now this install is rated E for everyone. It is gonna be an easy one. Um, basic tools, you've got a screwdriver. Uh, I think you might need a hammer, maybe a set of pliers. So let's get going on this thing. Um, let me just quick t quickly mention that one of the reasons I think this install is gr so great is that it just really personalizes the inside of your Jeep. So, um, and, hello Pinto. Excuse Pinto here, she's uh, <laughs> trying to help. All right. So to get started, all we need to do is pull the center console out and get a, get at the bottom of the actual shifter we're gonna replace here. So that entails pulling off the stock shifter knobs. I'll stand, put that one there. Now that's because I have the BNM Precision Shifter here. Now one of the things I'll explain to you later in the video is how you can actually now, since these, this one of the cool things, why I'm looking forward to this is that because this will match my already really sweet B&M shifter. Um, they'll both look kind of retro cool. They actually have better performance and you don't have to go all in. And I know buddy, those flies. Uh, you don't have to go all in to the shift tower like I did on this thing. You could, B&M now sells just this shift handle for this. And then now obviously, obviously they're selling the transfer case shift handle. So you have that matching and it's gonna be cool. Just trust me, watch this. It's gonna be awesome and fun. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and pull the stock shifter. Now, the thing that gave me a, an absolute battle when I did this the first time was when I was pulling the stock shifter knob off of here. Now, all you need to do here is just, there's a little plastic cap or skirt on the bottom. You just pop that off there. And then you just twist and pull this thing off. And Pinto, give me a hand. I'm gonna get, get, I'm gonna get this shifter out of my way here. Okay, I'm gonna put that in four low now, I think is what it is. And I'm gonna just pull, ugh. <laughs> it worked, Pinto. Ready, Pinto, get it, take it. Now I'm gonna put the transfer case shifter into uh, neutral here. This thing is in neutral. And then what you wanna do is I pull the parking brake up to about here, and then you just lift up. Oh, we should move. I have this rugged radios unit here. So you probably, you might have that, you should have that. These things are pretty rad. Um, so let's just pull that out for now. There we go. And we'll set that there for now. And then, <laughs> watch your butt there, Pintos. And then you just pull up on this little section right here. Pretty simple. And it's gonna, because I have this, just wiggle, wiggle it out of the room, out of the way here. And that's it for Pinto. You're coming back in, you're staying out. So we get started with getting the dust shield off the stock one, and that's just get a little screwdriver and try not to obviously break it. We're gonna pull this tab off here. Pry that tab off. So be careful to just pry these two rear tabs off and then just reach up here and get those two front tabs off. That comes right off. And so there's a little tab on this side of the pin here that you just wanna be careful and just kind of pry that off. And down inside there is the actual attachment cable to the bottom of this thing. And so it looks like when it's down all the way down in what would be four low, it's a little bit easier to get to. And this again is just a very gentle pry that off. There you go. And what I'll do now is just take a little hammer and tap the pin out. 
that comes out. That's our little, that's our little pin. We'll save that. And then this little guy comes right out. And there you have it. So here's the side-by-side -side comparison. I mean, it, it's pretty easy to see the difference. I mean, and you're getting what you pay for here. This is billet aluminum. It's got this cool spring load in there, so you have this good feel to it. It's gonna have this longer, cool handle it's gonna match, so it's just gonna be extra cool. So do you need this one? You don't need this one. Do you want it? You absolutely want this one. So let's get this thing in. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of grease down inside there and on there on the actual contact point to the housing here. Now that's plastic, so you know you don't wanna get crazy here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the ball shift knob off. And then you just literally, this goes in. We'll slide that down inside there. Let's see if we can get the pin in. Okay, pins in. Get that lined up. Okay, pins in. So I was able to get that shift cable on here. I'm gonna use this screwdriver to just press that back on and you can actually hear and feel that little pop. That uh, is on. I'm gonna tap this pin into place. And then what I'll do is put the capture ring back on there. That just fits, presses right back on like that. All right, so that's it for the actual install. As you can see, that was pretty easy, pretty fast. So that would be four low. Let's see what this looks like with the parking brake down. Wow, that's really, because it's longer, I didn't even realize that the throw was gonna be much, much greater and your leverage on the thing is so much uh, greater, so there's more, uh, it's easier to move, I should say. And you can just see how familiar these two things look now that they match. <laughs> this is one of those silly, but this is why we have Jeeps and why we tinker on them, because you can do stuff like this. This is awesome. So let's just go ahead and button this up. You can see that everybody can do this. Easy stuff, guys. So we'll put the dust cover back on. And that's as simple as line up the front, line up the back, clip that into place. And you can see that that just moves just like that. Boom. Huh. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our, and that's to get the center console back in. That's just a matter of pulling your parking brake back up. Now I have the boot on here. So you just pop these two tabs out and your boot comes out. Now oh, that'll make it much easier. So now we'll wrestle center console back into place. I'm gonna have to persuade it past the parking brake here. There we go. Going back into place, going down. Get rid of all our tools there. And then that clips right into place. So this is the B&M shifter that you now can just install just this handle right here. I think it's 160 bucks, somewhere in there. So you can get this handle and then this handle right here, like you just saw us install. I think this kit right here is about 189 bucks for the transfer case. Oh, that feels pretty good. And then that shifter. Okay, let's finish this up so we can see what this looks like. Enough jibber jabbering for me, come on. I don't have Pinto out here to tell me to shut up. So we'll get that down, get the front in place, and this should just clip. I love it when a plan comes together like that. And that's about it. So let's get our shift knobs installed. So this obviously is our shift knob for the shifter, transmission shifter. You just get the knob into the direction or in, in pointing in the direction you want. And then you just tighten the jam nut up to the bottom of that. I got that perfect. And now let's get, I have the jam nut on here, obviously. And let's get this knob into place. 
Are you starting to see this? Are you starting to check this out here? Oh man, this looks good. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'll get that lined up, tighten the jam nut. Well, look at these things. I mean, they just look so on purpose together and retro and cool. And this thing is really quite a bit higher than the other one. So it literally, you used to have to reach down to get it before and now it literally your hand falls right onto it. Let me get the seat to right where I would drive and see. It's, it's a noticeable bit higher. So let's see if it'll clear. So four high, so I'm getting rad, four high. Okay, and then neutral and then four low. Wow, I mean, it's down, like it's down there. That feels awesome. So there you have it, the shifter you didn't even know you needed, that's the one. You want this setup because look how cool that is. And the feel, okay, you could just see my body position. So this is the, the actual shifter here for the transmission. Now, they also make really awesome uh, shifters for automatics, just in case you don't have the theft deterrent that I have, the manual shift Jeep. So you could still get some awesome character in your Jeep by picking one of, they have a pistol grip and some other cool stuff there. But this to me is perfect for this Jeep. It's simple, it's, it's very tough looking and kind of like old school in a really cool way. I mean, look at that. So I have that. So this is gonna be what you do first and second a lot when you're in uh, wheeling. And then so you would go from two wheel high, four wheel high, neutral, never really in neutral, and then four low. And look at where that thing is. How cool is that? I mean, come on. So there you go, another amazing install, super easy. Look, literally anybody could do this. You saw it, basic, basic tools, um, nothing heavy, no heavy lifting, nothing hard. And look at that thing. Those things are awesome, practical, and yet retro, cool, functional. Um, they just make me happy to see that thing. Look at, that is exactly what I want the inside of my Jeep to look like. It really harkens back to the old school Jeeps. and. That's what I want, I love it. This Jeep is kind of simple that way, but yet really functional. So since this is my first video since I've hit 100,000 subscribers, just wanna say thank you guys very much for that. Make sure that if you have subscribed or you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button, hit the notification bell so you get notifications when I do post videos. I'm gonna try to turn around a few more upgrades before this thing called the Trail to SEMA. You saw me do that last year uh, with the Power Stop Brakes people. So I have a few more upgrades planned. Try to turn them around real fast and get them to you. I have some stuff coming up on the truck. I have exhaust ready to go on the Mustang. So for you Mustang folks, don't worry, that stuff's coming up as well. It's gonna be a busy couple of months. Stick with me, let's have some fun. Until next time, enjoy your drive. I think I better take this one for a ride, speaking of. You ready? High five. <laughs> good girl. All right, good girl, come on.